My name is Craig Van de Nevant, and today I would like to introduce you to strain wave gearing components and how a strain wave gearbox operates. Strain wave gearboxes provide zero backlash and high torque with high ratios in a small, lightweight gearbox for easy integration into a mechanism or a machine. In this video, we'll review the main components of the strain wave gearbox, its operation, and the two main styles, cup or hat. You may see strain wave gearing referred to as harmonic gearing. They are the same thing. In this section, I would like to walk you through the components. The strain wave gearbox has three main components. The wave generator consists of an elliptical shaped cam with a ball bearing. The flex spline is a thin walled cylinder with teeth cut on the outside. The flex spline can deflect or deform when it is pressed upon. The third component is the circular spline. This is a rigid ring with inner teeth. It's like the ring gear on a planetary gearbox, and it's usually the fixed component. The flex spline fits inside the circular spline where the two sets of gearing mesh. The wave generator mounts inside the flex spline. The wave generator forces the flex spline into an elliptical shape, which causes the gearing of the flex spline to mesh with the gearing of the circular spline. The wave generator is usually the input. The flex spline is usually the output of the gearbox. Let's walk through the strain wave gearbox operation. The flex spline teeth engage the circular spline teeth along the major axis of the ellipse of the wave generator, or two points, 360 degrees apart. The key here is the flex spline always has two fewer teeth than the circular spline. The rotation of the wave generator continuously deforms the flex spline resulting in the teeth engaging and disengaging the teeth of the circular spline, rotating the flex spline in the opposite direction. The wave generator rotates through 360 degrees. Since the flex spline has two fewer teeth than the circular spline, it runs out of teeth to engage with the circular and so moves two teeth in the opposite direction of the wave generator. This is the gear reduction. The wave generator rotates 360 degrees and the flex spline rotates two teeth in the opposite direction. The distance in degrees that the flex spline rotates depends on the, the gear ratio of the gearbox. For example, with a 50 to one ratio, the input rotates 360 degrees, but the output rotates 360 degrees divided by the ratio of 50 or 7.2 degrees. The number of teeth determines the ratio. When we look at an actual strain wave gearbox, the elliptical shape of the wave generator is not obvious. You can see that the teeth engaged in sections 180 degrees apart. 90 degrees from that, you can see the space between the flex spline teeth and the circular spline teeth, also in two sections 180 degrees apart. In this particular gearbox, the flex spline is the fixed component and the circular spline is the output component. The strain wave gearbox comes in two styles, cup or hat. The difference is the shape of the flex spline. When viewed in cross section, the cup style flex spline is shaped like a cup with the output at the bottom of the cup. The hat style flex spline is shaped like a hat with the bottom flared out like the brim of a hat. Now we'll look at the relative rotation of a strain wave gearbox components. 
The Strainwave gearbox operates in two ways. The more common operation is the wave generator as the input, the flex spline as the output, and the circular spline fixed. In this configuration, the input and the output rotate in opposite directions. The ratio is the nominal ratio, for example, 50 to 1. The alternate operation is with the wave generator as the input, the circular spline as the output, and the flex spline fixed. In this configuration, the input and the output rotate in the same direction. And the ratio is the nominal ratio plus one. So a 50 to one gearbox in the catalog is a 51 to one ratio when it's operated this way. We have reviewed the various components of a strain wave gearbox and the two styles, cup versus hat. Strain wave gearboxes provide zero backlash and high torque with high ratios in the small lightweight gearbox for assembly or integration directly into a mechanism or a machine.